crafty people. One of my favorite projects to do amongst all my others is something called quilt magic. It's like I've said before, paint by numbers on crack. Basically you have fabric that you tuck in these grooves and when you're done, you've got this fantastic wall hanging. It looks just like a quilt, but you don't use a sewing machine. You don't use a needle. You don't use a thread. It's literally fabric and you can use a butter knife. Um, I have a little tool that when I first was introduced to this, probably about 10 years ago, there was a lady over at the Anchorage Downtown Market that had a booth where she was selling these. And her husband had came up with a tool that had a pointy flat edge on one end and then a rounded flat edge on the other. That's what I was looking for when I found one of my UFOs. I can't find my tools, so for this project, I went ahead and used a butter knife or a dinner knife, and that's what they call for in the kit. So, let's get going with a little quilt magic. And by the way, I'm Trina, and this is Trina Create. When you receive your kit, it will contain coordinated fabric. You'll need to have that on hand as well as your road map, your foam board. You'll have a completed picture and your butter knife. The first thing you want to do is use the serrated edge of your tool and trim down each one of the corner edges and then reinforce all of your grooves. So you're going to make sure that you center your border fabric and you're going to want the right side facing out. So it's going to be on the bottom. And then you're going to work your way around, but starting in each one of the corners, you're going to want to tuck those edges in with your tool. In the exact same places where you trimmed it down on the side, tuck it in. Now, once you get all the corners tucked in, you're going to have just a little bit stuck out. No problem. You're going to trim this down and it'll make it easier for you to tuck in those edges. Then you can begin filling in the sides and tucking in those sides all the way around until it's all complete. And this is what it looks like from the front once you have all of it tucked in. And this is what it looks like from the back once you have it all tucked in. Now you'll begin cutting your paper pieces. Each one of them is numbered one through whatever. Mine went up to 105. Cut along the outside black edge. And then you're going to take these pieces and pin it to the coordinating fabric, looking at the numbers on your, your diagram. Don't cut until you've pinned it all down so that you know that you have enough room. So now that you know you have enough room, you're going to begin to cut those fabric pieces. Collect your fabric pieces together. I always start with number one. Unless there are letters, then you would start with number A. And looking at your, your diagram, you're going to figure out where that needs to go on the board. I try to get light colors. They're normally light colors or grouped together. Get those all in the same place. And we're ready to put the first strip in. So now, along that bottom edge, you see where you're going to lay where the fabric belongs. And then you're going to start to tuck it. The red arrow represents your first full piece tucked in. Yay! We're going to go ahead and going with the next number, continue on until you've completed all of the pieces. See you at the end.
So I've completed several other projects and as we end this video, I'll show a slideshow of some of those. Enjoy your day and as always, get your craft on. Bye. And that's quilt magic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you like this content. Also, leave me a comment down below on any other content that you'd like to see.